Hello and welcome to this vlog post on the Unified User Experience. Today we're talking about how an outdated contact center solution affects your operations. So let's start with our uh, problem statement. What are the drawbacks of contact center solution uh, that's five to 10 years out of date? How can you work with employees and, and team leaders to adopt the latest cloud technologies and expand your functionality? So for most companies that engage with contact center solutions, they often get five to 10 years outdated in their approach. It's nobody's fault, it just happens. Uh, in terms of technology, five to 10 years may as well be like you know, 10 to 20 years. For example, the, the 360 degree agent views of today uh, were not possible nor popular a few years back. Uh, now the goal is to get every piece of data on the screen for the agent when the call uh, or other interaction comes through. And that, that leads into, you know, what are the other interactions, text messages, um, emails, things of that nature, uh, items from social media, right? By performing this instant lookup of information across multiple systems, um, you're getting at least one minute ahead of every ahead on every phone call. A again, think of that instant lookup. What it means is the call comes in, we instantly find all the information that the agent needs to see. So the performance gain is significant when you consider that the average phone call interaction is around four minutes. Beyond the struggles that an organization faces uh, with the agent processes. There are reporting and dashboard issues that arise from outdated platforms. Um, indeed, there's a, there's a major time savings that comes into place when you're talking about um, single click reporting and you know, uh, KPI dashboards that are already customized to the data you know, that you wanna see. So when we're talking about the the unified user experience in terms of modernizing your contact center. We're giving you the best of, of all worlds approach. So you can see uh, on the screen currently, we've got all the omni-channel communications, and those are coupled with the API data integrations hub, and that's what gives us our 360 degree data view. So in short order, an interaction comes through, any of these interactions on the far left will come through, and it can pull data from multiple sources as the interaction comes through and present that data on the screen. We show the right screen at the right time. All right, just think of it that way. Text message comes in, we show the right data to support that text message at the right time. A uh, phone call comes in, same thing. We're gonna show the, the correct data to support that information. So let's, let's take a quick look at the platform and the components at play here in terms of you know what you can expect so for instance if i had a call come through my entire screen is going to load up with information automatically right and and just to see what that looks like as i click a record it's the same thing that happens when the interaction comes through phone call comes in text message comes in the system automatically looks up the record and all of the relevant data associated with it. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of systems that look up data, but they don't look up all of the associated data pieces in conjunction with that. So what you're getting is the customer information and then the customer history, the customer journey. You can see that all the interactions that we've had with this customer, all the notes right there at my fingertips. Uh, and if I had a text message, this customer wanted me to talk about from a month ago, maybe they were interested in some kind of a, a service or some kind of a product. Hey, what was that thing we talked about a month ago? I can quickly pop that up and reference it and speak intelligently about any of these, any of these interactions. So this is really great for any process, um, long-term onboarding processes, outbound sales processes, you name it. Now, the screen that we're looking at is, is inbound in nature, but we also have an outbound screen and that's what we've come to realize in this industry is the screen, the screen needs to be appropriate to the interaction and the screen needs to have a lot of data. So on the right side, you've got your knowledge base or research panel. And in addition to the knowledge base or research, I've got 
uh, iframes that I could do. I can iframe websites and other portals and such the agent might need to access. And then I have a calendar for appointments that the agent might have set or follow up items that, that we need to pop up for the agent to follow up on. So again, you get a, a best of all worlds approach. The center of the screen is your guided process. This is a no code solution. So you can add and, and change data fields and guided processes as much as you want. And then the left side, I've got my customer contact information. I can search by whatever columns I want and I can change these columns that I'm searching anytime that I want. I can say, oh, I, I need to add two more columns or I need to add two more data fields. And then after I add those data fields, I wanna be able to search by those. I don't wanna get too deep into the weeds with that, but the platform is flexible, right? It's a no code solution. You're not limited to what you're seeing is, is the key to that. It means that if I need to make a, a change, let's say that we have a ticketing process in the center of the screen here. If I need to add three data fields to my ticket, because one of my clients that I represent needs those data fields, I could add those same business day, or maybe just as an initiative for the whole company, we wanna track those three data fields, all right? Take, uh, take COVID-19 as an example of something unexpected that changes a business model, right? Everyone had to adapt for the most part when COVID came about. And I know that's a, it's kind of a negative use case, but if, if you're thinking of that, uh, it helps you to realize how often your company is going to need to make changes. And that's what this platform is built for. It is built to be adjusted. It is built to be adapted and molded to what you need it to do. Further, it's integrated in the background to multiple systems. And then you have the combination of let's show the agent what data they need to see at the right time, the right data at the right time for the interaction. And then let's also, excuse me, I, I uh, got logged out here in my session. Uh, and then let's also have uh, dashboards that we can show that are modern, right? Modern dashboards, easy to track, easy to move around. I can drill down into the data. I can create unlimited KPI dashboards, unlimited reports. And the great thing about this system is that we have a combination of the, the contact center and omni-channel data with the use case data. So I can say, how many interactions did I have to achieve a certain result? Um, and that's the beauty of it. You have one source of truth for multiple sources of data, including your, your contact center data. So whether your contact center is um, you know, nice in contact or whether it's ring central or eight by eight, uh, any of those, we have integrations with that. We also have uh, built-in integrations with platforms like Twilio uh, and Amazon Web Services. So you very much have the ability to control your contact center solution in conjunction with these modern agent screens, with these modern agent desktops. And, um, and that's really the power of, of having a modern system. Lastly, we do have this uh, process automation piece. Uh, we get into this in a lot more details uh, in other presentations, but in short order, Process automation can automatically assign work to your users. It can assign work to groups. Process automation can keep track of SLAs. So if you say, we need our, our tickets uh, handled within uh, 10 minutes or 30 minutes. If they're not handled to a certain level within that period of time, I need them automatically escalated. So automatic escalations, automatic notifications, uh, interdepartmental routing of tasks. So you can say, Accounting is responsible for this piece. Customer service is responsible for that piece. Marketing is responsible for that piece. On and on and on. So the powerhouse of this system is that you're running on business logic, right? Everything is business logic and or logic is all we have. And then we have groups of and or logic, groups within groups of and or logic. So as a business person or as a business leader, if you can say, if you can make a logical statement, if this and this is true, or that and that are true, if you can make a logical statement like that, then you can make changes to the system. Then you can fully construct your vision within the system. However, for your, uh, for your IT people, the system is dream come true. It's extremely easy to use for IT people and they can build their filters for the actions, and then they can trigger multiple actions. 
each one of these nodes is an example of an action or multiple actions that could be triggered. I could be triggering 15 actions with each one of these squares, right? So you could have a very complex uh, healthcare onboarding process, or you could have a, a complex outbound sales process or some kind of a customer support ticketing process where you want automated follow-ups uh, after the fact, um, some kind of an appointment setting process where you want reminders before the appointment, follow up after the appointment, all of those things are possible. So the process automation engine is extraordinarily uh, powerful. It's too deep for the, for the scope of this conversation. And then of course, like I said, we have the data views for this modern platform. This is a really important aspect of the data, the data uh, consumption for the managers and for the employees. These KPI dashboards are not limited to managers. The employees can uh, partake in these as well. Uh, and then you have things like the Kanban. So the Kanban is going to allow you to see from left to right, you know, are we dropping the ball? Are we staying true to our process? And you can define whatever you want these columns to be left to right. You know, the, a lot of times it's going to be new, there's going to be an escalation, um, but whatever the status names are uh, relevant, then we can plug those in there. You can have stand-up meetings with your team uh, with the Kanban and move things around. As you drag these items around, you're actually changing the status of a field, right? So as a manager, if I say, you know what, I need to move this into escalation because I have some good information about that, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the screen to show the, um, the color change. It'll do it on its own, but it takes a little bit of time. Um, so, so yeah, ex essentially what you have is a view of are we dropping the ball and then being able to drill down into individual records and not a single view, by the way. The, the Kanban is a tool like any other tool, and it's unlimited. So I could have one Kanban for my uh, outbound sales. I could have one Kanban for my customer service cases, my customer service tickets. I could have a, another Kanban if I was, let's say that I was doing some medical onboarding so I could track the, the different stages of the onboarding process and see the different counts for how many records are in each stage of the medical onboarding process. All of that is possible. Now, this piece, the, the way that these two work in concert is this piece is, are we, are we dropping the ball? Are we, are we taking care of each stage? How long have you sat in each stage? Secondly, this piece is, are we getting to our clients fast enough? This will measure how quickly you're getting resolution, how often you're getting resolution, how many items you have that are unresolved and how old those items are that are unresolved, okay? And then of course, we do have the process automation piece. We have the inbound and the outbound screens. There, the, the functionality of this system is 100 miles deep. It is way too big for the scope of, of any uh, vlog video that I could make for you, but, uh, but there's a lot to explore. So what we'd like to do as a next step is talk to you about modernizing your, your contact center, your agent screens, We'd like to take about 20 minutes to walk through what you're currently doing and the pain points that you have, the things that you'd like to resolve. Uh, this system typically pays for itself four or five times over by the time it's implemented, and it continues to pay for itself as you, you're able to make changes and dynamically adapt your business. It's not, this is not something you're going to grow out of once you get it up and running. It is not something you're going to grow out of in three to five years. So uh, it's well worth the time to take a look. It's well worth the time uh, to work with us and, and to look at maybe getting a prototype together. So I would encourage that uh, wholeheartedly. Uh, anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for your time. For more information, uh, go to our website, which is www.ivinix.com. That's I-V-I-N-E-X.com. Uh, or you can reach out to sales at ivinix.com. Again, that's sales at ivinix.com. We'll set up a, a 20 minute call with you. We'll go over your agent process. If the, the fit is appropriate, if it looks good, if you qualify, then, um, then we can look at doing a prototype with you and start showing you how we can save you on some, some labor costs, make your agents more effective, modernize your system. Uh, there's a wealth of benefits to this. Again, there's too many benefits for the scope of this conversation. So thank you for your time today and have a great day. Bye.